Certainly have you are. Nice to be alive in this happy, wonderful world. You know, all the time when I start the painting, that's what it is right there. You always have to talk to yourself, and you always have to put yourself into whatever you want to do. So today I want to paint a winter. I go into, oh, we say, uh, Idaho, uh, Idaho, Montana, where the mountain stars, where the buffalo rooms were. Big. Maybe we paint a buffalo into a two. Good, we will do that too. And, uh, but with other words, first I always have to talk to myself. If I'm ready, if it is ready in my mind, no problem to put on a canvas. <clears throat> Forget past sorrows. This world is yours so bright and gay. Sing and dream about tomorrow. Treasures are waiting with every new day. Treasures, treasures, treasures. You know, it's just a wonderful thing. Eh, you meet wonderful people in your lifetime. As a sample, I would like to put that in here in that show. It is not what you do with the brush. It is what makes you do it. <clears throat> uh, treasures. You know, I like to talk like that. Every human being has a treasure chest right built in here. There is a treasure chest. And if no one ever wakes it up, or no one loosens it up, or if you don't loosen it up, you will die with all those treasures. Can you imagine? Six foot down or into the fire, and you burn your treasures! Treasures live forever. We flesh will disappear, but our treasures, they will live forever, and ever and ever. So, uh, I hope I could open up your treasure chest. That chest, dang, it opens up and the bubble comes out. It starts bubbling. You become a bubble. And when you paint, paint in that bubble, that almighty bubble. And I tell you, this bubble, I lived with that bubble already for years and years, and it works for me. It just works. I met a nice person even today. We had dinner together and we talked about it. The same thing, you know, it is just wonderful. She has a bubble, and it made me a bubble again. Happiness brings happiness. When you talk happy things, and especially in art, I'm sorry when I talk about it a bit more. I have to pay less this time, but I will get you into that bubble. That almighty, if you are ready with that almighty bubble, open up your treasure chest and fire in. There's no mercy. See, this is what I got, that big brush, a big palette, big inside, and automatically your outside looks big. All right, then. <clears throat> Let's make maybe again a happy sky. The magic light, I put the magic light on. See, that gives me a little time to talk. The magic light is on. I just brush it out. It's wet. Now we will put some colors together. A little crimson. Take a good look here. Uh, Prussian blue and a little crimson. Maybe make it a frosty. We talk about the winter scene, like the mountains far away and 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 frosty and a big long field and a couple of buffaloes on the field. That might be nice. Now what I do, I test it. See, it's a bit too reddish. Then I add a bit more blue. See, do it like that. You test it or taste it or whatever you want to say. And then you put it on. See, that's it. That's it. Oh, already it is it, I, I get itchy. I, I see the colors. I see the, the movements. Uh, and leave it. Now, here you can make it just like that. Leave it loose. Leave the openings in between. See, here a little bit. And here. And then it's so much in, in the brush. You, as hard as, if I want it harder, I fire in there, you see. If I want it loose, I loosen it up. And, and you feel like a band conductor. You see what a beautiful sky. There, there's already bang. I take that red a bit out. So, isn't that a beautiful beginning? If you begin with that almighty bubble, an almighty bubble is right on that canvas. And you don't suffer. Oh, God, when I started painting, I had teachers, they made me suffer. Oh, I... Uh, I will not think about it anymore because it's a shame that some people, they would even say, I'm a good teacher, I don't know how to paint, but I'm a good teacher. 
Oh, God. If you cannot paint, don't be an art teacher. There are so many other teachers. You can be a piano teacher or whatever they do. All right, now, a, a clean brush. <coughs> and see, I hypnotize. See, what I put first is guy together. Now I hypnotize it. See, but up to now it is very, very rough. And now I just hypnotize very light, very, very light. See, from the light into the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. It, is, it is just wonderful to be alive on this earth. To see your own hand doing the things your brain tells you. You see there, look at that. Beautiful. It's nice to, 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 to stand on your own painting and always say, do that. Pat yourself. No one has to do it anyway. Pat yourself. Finish up and say, do that wonderful, beautiful. And with that beautiful, you do a far better job. It's hard when you work for someone, he comes up and he criticizes you all the time. Uh, this is no good. Then I fire myself. Usually I did run away. But when the boss comes up and he tells you, oh, you did a good job. The next job is better. And that's the same what you do with yourself. Just talk to yourself and you tell yourself, oh, you are doing great. All right. Now we get our almighty knife. See, it's not nice to talk like that. I don't take a tiny Tim knife or that's our mighty knife into that our mighty paint. Right in, see, white, put the block of white over here, maybe a bit more to cover the canvas. One dark brown, fresh and blue. Take a good look. Make a good close-up on this one here. See, and look how I mix it now. This is a bit too blue. A touch of Alison Crimson. And now you mix it. Take it all off like that. And turn it over. And mix it so that it looks like uh, marble. Too blue. You can see it. You always see what you're doing. A bit more than dark brown. Maybe even a touch more than dark brown. And then, but don't mix it dead. Don't mix it dead. Oh, still a bit more than dark brown. See, now I think I, I will get it. And mix it so that you still see the lines in there. See, that's fine. Now, then, you take it off and see how it looks on the canvas. See, if you're happy, all right then. Oh, don't matter. We go right into to Idaho. And we have those beautiful mounds standing there. Look at that. Look at that almighty. It's such a wonderful trip from, from uh, Montana into Idaho. Highway, what was it? 93, 95? Something like that. And you see those beautiful big mounds getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally you go in, you see those beautiful valley stairs. See? Oh, here's maybe other part. There you are. Whatever you, whatever you have seen, no problem. No problem. See, there. But when you see me, what, when you watch me here, I don't put much paint on. I do not put much, put much paint on here. Just try to rub it into the canvas. Rub it into the canvas, see? Oh, maybe other hills right there, coming down. And everything is painless. Everything is sweet. And you form your own movements, whatever you have seen. I never will have it exactly, but you will automatically say, that's the part I have lived in once, or have seen, have seen once. You see, like this, fine. So that's the beginning. Take your big brush now, clean, and dabble in the, the bottom like this. See, push it into the bottom. It gives you a little bit of a foggy or misty feeling. See, there. Beautiful. Can you see it? See, so out of nothing into that almighty sky, there, the big mountain standing there. And now you can, whatever you dream up there in front of that, that's up to you now. Whatever you would see or have seen. I will highlight the whole thing. You can highlight from any good old way, any good old side. 
maybe this is the lighter side. We will do it for. I do. I like to, from the right side most of the time because uh, my hands like to do that. But it doesn't matter. I can't do it the same way from the other side. It just happened that it's easier for me. We we have a certain habits. We all have habits, and a certain habit. Again, look, white and red, white, and a touch of red. Take out a touch of red. Now my red is always messy. See, I had yellow before there. Maybe I take it off. I confuse you now. I just take it off. See, it should be only red there. And see, I show you how you shouldn't do it. That's all. All right. <clears throat> Maybe a bit more white. They're not too red, and then it runs away from you. And you fire in whatever you have. Oh, here, far away. Oh, see there. And then with this, like I say, far away feeling. Could you make it close up? Could you look close into this particular shot here? This, I tell you, one almighty movement. You see the thousand details that paint. I have here, it breaks on you, see? It breaks on you. Eh? Now, watch, here, let's just pull it up. You can pull it up from the bottom if you want to, like this. Maybe in here a little bit. Then you can uh, take it off again. Uh, push it down from the top, like a side movement. You can go in here, move it up. See, thank which why the light will hit your mountain. You can have this in the light, this in the sunshine, see? Then this side, you can run the whole thing in the sunshine, see, there. You know, a wonderful thing. If I, I wish, I wish I ever get your treasure chest opened up right, because the tunes pop up, beautiful melodies. There's so much music in the world. Good music, not that garbage, what, they, what you hear. I'm sorry, I shouldn't start talking about it. <laughs> There's too much garbage music around us. It doesn't make sense, and it doesn't make love. It doesn't give you happiness. It doesn't, uh, it is just, it, I, I, I'm sorry, better not talk about it, because it is not the power of life. It's not in, it is destroying. It is destroying. Think about happy melodies. We bought all the American songbooks, and I tell you, you would love every those old American songs. Ah, oh, they linger in my heart forever. You can sing them forever. And there's really love in, there's the tune, harmony, rhyme, rhythm, and that makes music. And that's the same on the canvas when you paint. You have rhythm, rhyme, harmony, <coughs> And that is what makes a nice painting. Then you can see it, <coughs> and you enjoy it. Ah, watch. White. Oh, maybe put it here. And a touch of blue. And a little touch of blue. See, now I got just white and blue. Take a look how I do it. See? Something like this. As you see how it turns nice and happy light blue. Then you do it from the snow, the shadow side. See the shadow side there. Beautiful. This, let it break. Let it break. You hear I press too hard. Actually, that's too massive. Make it very, very loose. Let it just vibrate. The very loose lines. That's it. Ah, oh. oh, you feel, you know, you can easily talk to yourself and say, that's good. That's good. See here. Loose, very loose touch. Very loose touch. Go with the shape. You form the shape of your mountain. Here I go down, see? Here I go down this way, here I go down this way, see? And look at the thousand details in one almighty shot, see? There. You can pack, you can pack a little bit of a blue in there, like a glacier coming down there, see? It's all in your, it's all with your own feelings, whatever, whatever you, however you bother yourself up. Wonderful, wonderful. Isn't it nice to say it? You've got to talk to yourself like that, constantly. Then it will be wonderful. I never could think, starting a painting, every painting I start, 
I really want to believe that's the greatest, the biggest, the most thing I ever do. It just don't turn out on the end like that, but it's, it's nice to, to think you are really doing a great job. There you are. Use your mighty feelings. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Okay, let the sun shine in. See, use your big brush again. And then here's always a little bit of a mist in the valley, in the dawn, in the valley. In the valley, so low. See, in the valley, <clears throat> there's always where the warmth is, where the steam is. See, you know, out of that valley, into that blue sky. <clears throat> Now you can easy <clears throat> use the same color. See, the same colors I got here already started. I create a kind of a far away uh, behind there, uh, whatever, tree standing there or, see, kind of a landscape. That was, yeah, let's put a couple of buffaloes in. That would be nice. Yeah. Now, here, use your big brush. You only can get light if you have dark. Make it dark. Thank you, put ice in there. Even darker. Add even a lot, a little bit of uh, uh, Van Dyke brown into that. And make it dark. As dark as you got it there, as easier you can, you can put the snow in. See, look, how fast I did it. Bang, bang, bang. Now, you, 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 you can do it like this. Maybe we say, start up with the, see, watch, snow, I use that same, with a touch of red in, and you come from far away, from far away, maybe here, far away. Oh, it's so nice to dream yonder, far away yonder, for the sun is shining and where the birds are singing. I saw a film from New Zealand not long ago, and I told to Mario, they said, Mario, pack up, we moved to New Zealand. Good fishing. And then when I waked up, when I came out of my I say, God, I live already in a nice country. What makes me think like that? But that far away, there's always something waiting for you. You always think you can do better somewhere else. And everything is around the corner. See, look at that. Here's a bit of cut and see that shows. Leave that dark open here and there. See, like that. That gives you far away snow fields. You can even highlight this a little bit, a little bit, like in the distance. See, just, just very loose. <coughs> it's all yours, it's all yours. It's your temperament, your feelings, your <coughs> make it yours, that's yours. You paint that painting, don't copy it. Make it yours. When you put your name on, you hear the thunder in the sky. Oh, that's yours. You painted that painting. And it's all yours. It was your inside. It was your bubble. And then it is worth to sit down and watch it. All right. All right. See, maybe we put a little, little shake in there. Oh, maybe we start off with the bit of a shack in the woods. In the woods, no, that's in the field, you know, like a feeding place where they feed the buffaloes. And you can make it a bit darker, down on the bottom again. See, you can use a bit of, of white on this side. Make it underneath the roof. That was a bit too much. 
I show you how you do. See how you can take it off? No problem. You never have, you never make mistakes. There's no such thing that you ever can make mistakes on this idea here. <coughs> See, there's so something like this. <gasps> and now you, you put the snow in the field. See, you cut it off like this. And then you go on. That's a very easy painting. See? Yes, see what I do here. Very loose. There's nothing, just the free, wide, wide, flat fields. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Now let's. Yes, the buffalo is a very easy animal. Very easy animal. Maybe hard to meet. I don't know. I never met one. <laughs> I see him in pictures. I see him on the field sometime. <clears throat> Maybe put that big head in. A big, big head in there. Yeah, like bulldozers. Oh, that big square head. Use a bit of a red <coughs> and white, like I show you here. See, some kind of a red and like a brownish color. And give them that almighty back. Mm, just like a bulldozer, like a big machine coming out of that. dark from the bottom, give him the foot, but you know, he's stuck in snow there, <clears throat> See, you can just, just fire him in like this, you know, it's a wonderful thing, there's all kinds of tunes going to your, to your nose, <clears throat> Uh, and with those students, you really give them the shadows over the field. Like here, that house should have a little shadow there. See, that makes it nice. Just don't forget that either, either, neither, neither. So. Let's have it very dark on the bottom there, in between. Okay. Good. Now then you can give him snow, put a little bit of snow on his, on his, uh, on his whatever. See? You can pull it right down to his his big head, all right, so we will give him a couple of horns, give him a couple of horns, see, give him a couple of eyes there, he has to see what he's doing. Just like that. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can. Yeah, that's good. You can pull in the other one, a little bit more red on this, uh, like a brownish tune on his top. <coughs> 
And then you can cut in more if you want to. Same idea, you can come just maybe it further out to you. I'll come across the field like this. Okay. And you just give him that big, big buddy there in the back. Again, dark on the bottom and the shadow on the feet. See? And as further they go, as more they disappear, as less you can, you, you just uh, don't have to put too many details in. But that is, so you can go on and on and put more in and more in and more in and have that field follow. And then the, the end is ours, you let him shovel the snow, you put that snow in front of it, he's pushing through the snow, like a heavy machine, see, like a heavy machine, like this, yes, add it in the front of them. Now you can add more and more and more, whatever you want, if I had two more hours to show, I could show you more and more and more and more, but everything comes to a happy ending, and I think that is all I can show you. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye. <clears throat>